If you have been following the lessons on agricultural extension methods, then you know about Mukta and his passion for local farmers. One day, Mukta decided that he didn't want to stop at helping only his community. He wanted to do more. There were many more communities, not just in northern Nigeria, but outside as well, who needed to adopt better agricultural techniques. He began to devise a means to achieve his goal. Mukta decided that he wanted to reach a large number of people at the same time, so he began to print publications, leaflets, posters, bulletins, pamphlets, and circulars. He didn't stop there. He patterned with interested organizations to create agricultural shows that could be shown on television and aired on radio stations. He also began to run agricultural exhibitions that could be attended by a larger number of people. Agricultural extension involves the dissemination of information from agricultural researchers to the local farmers. Because of this, it is essential that we devise means by which this information can be effectively passed across to the farmers, either in a large group or individually. So what methods of agricultural extension do we have? We have the mass media method, the individual method, and the group method. The mass media method is to create awareness and interest in new ideas and techniques among the majority of people. Mukta fully employed this method when he decided that he wanted to help more communities at the same time. The advantage of this method, of course, is that it reaches a wide number of people. It may not require the physical presence of the extension agent. It also saves time, and when using print media, it can serve as a point of reference, meaning that people can always pick up the publication and read for as long as the information is not outdated. The disadvantage of this method is that it is expensive. I mentioned earlier how Mukta had to partner with interested organizations that could fund the project. This funding may not always be available. A language barrier might also hinder effective communication. Illiteracy may pose a problem as well. It is also possible that the local farmers who need the information have no access to electricity, radios, or even television. In our next lesson, we'll be discussing the other agricultural extension methods and it promises to be a fun class. See you there. Bye.